Welcome, everyone. Um, if you've seen some of the previous practice tests that I've done, you may have noticed that I'm using a little bit of a different program here. The reason I'm doing it is because some of the questions really lead better, or they tend to work better if I just do screen capture, and then some will work better if I need to use the camera. Plus, you can actually see the question, which is kind of nice if I use the screen cap program. So I'm going to be in and out. Sometimes I'll do this, sometimes I'll solve it. It really depends on whether or not I need to show you the calculator. Now, for this question, and I apologize if I hack this name to death, uh, Ryota's homework assignment was to measure the temperature in his backyard and then graph the results. And we can see the results shown. First thing that you need to sort of pay attention to when we get this kind of graph is to look at the, uh, the axes. So I'm going to look at to show that one is for temperature and one is for time. And it appears that time go increases from left to right and temperature, I I'm assuming, goes uh, up from the bottom. So I need to look at the types of, qu uh, uh, look at the question itself now, I'm sorry. Based on the graph, which statement best describes the change in temperature? Uh, first off, it says the temperature decreased, then stayed constant, and then decreased again. I don't need to go on and look through the rest of them just yet. I need to look at the uh, the options that they're giving me or how the question is structured. The question is structured in so much that I only need to know a few things. I need to know something about probably increasing. Sorry about that. I need to know something about increasing. It helps that I know that that goes up. Decrease, of course, means go down. And the term constant. Constant means it stays the same, so it does not change at all. So if I look at the graph, I can see that in the first section, I've got an increase. So that's when it goes up. And then in the next section, I've got a change in the, sec in the fact that it goes constant for a little while, and then it tends to go on a decrease. So I'm looking for increase constant decrease. I'm going to look for that down below. B says uh, the temperature decreased. Well, it didn't decrease in either uh, in the graph, so A and B are both out immediately. And I'm looking at C and D. C says the temperature increased, then staying constant, then decreased. That looks good. You might want to go ahead and check the other one if you have time. The temperature increased, then decreased, and then increased again. None of that makes any sense other than the fact that it increased because it didn't go down straight afterwards. So the answer to number one is just C. So. Not a big deal.